Hello, this is Paul Tchaikovsky. I'm a developer advocate at VMware. Today, I want to show you through some things uh, with Helm, uh, specifically creating and deploying your own Helm charts from your own Helm repository. You might be familiar with the Helm Hub, which I have here. It lets you search uh, and install Helm charts from many uh, Helm repositories. For instance, if I was interested in installing the Harbor project, I could search for that. Uh, and you can see we have a few results, uh, one directly from Harbor, uh, one from Bitnami, and one from Chorodon, whatever that is. So let's have a quick look at uh, Harbor. Uh, so you can see it has a bunch of information, uh, and it talks about using this Helm repo add command to add a Helm uh, a Helm repository, uh, and then Helm install to actually go ahead and install that. So that's great for publicly shared charts uh, that other people are hosting, Harbor or Elastic or other uh, companies or vendors. But what if you actually want to run your own Helm chart repository and host your own Helm charts? The Helm team uh, has been very proactive about building out tooling to help with this. And we've recently released a set of GitHub actions to make it even easier. So let's have a quick look at this example Helm repo uh, that has everything needed to host your own Helm chart repository. I guess before we do that, a Helm chart repository is actually a very simple thing. It is a, uh, it is a static website that has an index.yaml file uh, and that index.yaml file contains a list of all the Helm charts and links to the actual Helm chart package uh, for that given repository. GitHub Pages is really good for hosting static websites. And so we built out this tooling to not only host your charts uh, code in GitHub, but to then also host the actual repository using GitHub Pages. So this here is an example uh, repository uh, that has a couple of Helm charts already in it. Uh, you can see there's a few there. Uh, and then a GitHub directory that points to a bunch of actions. And you can see we're using three major actions, a kind action that will set up a Kubernetes in Docker uh, cluster a chart testing action that will run lint and deployment testing against your Helm charts. And then we have a chart releaser action that will actually do the work to create the Helm chart repository uh, and artifacts in GitHub pages. We're gonna have a quick look at the actual GitHub workflows uh, to see how this works. You can see we have two workflows, lint test and release. So under lint test, uh, we're basically saying on pull request, run a set of jobs. Uh, and that is checking out the repo uh, and running Helm chart testing to lint, uh, creating a kind cluster, and then running chart testing to actually install the Helm chart. Doing this order gives us that fast fail behavior. So if the lint testing fails, it won't even try and deploy a cluster and deploy our Helm chart. Uh, that's quite useful for that fast feedback. Uh, and then if we look at the other action, the release action. You can see again, we check it out. We have to do a couple of uh, git configure things because we'll be pushing code back up to GitHub, specifically GitHub pages branch. Uh, and then it installs Helm, adds any dependent uh, Helm chart repos, uh, and then does the Helm chart releaser. And you can see here, it actually pulls a uh, a GitHub token uh, from uh, secrets. Uh, so this is one thing that we need to set when we do this ourselves. And I will show that as we step through the process. So the easiest way I've found to actually host your own repo is to clone down this charts repo here and then upload it to your own uh, charts. So we're gonna go ahead and clone this down. We don't actually want to run a fork of this repo. We want it to be a new repo. 
is I'm going to do a git remote remove of the original origin and then do a git remote add of a new origin. So I've created a new origin uh, remote for my own GitHub account with a charts repository. And that doesn't actually exist yet. Uh, so let's flick back to GitHub. Uh, and we can run a new repository. Uh, we can get that name charts. It's a public repository. Uh, the other thing is we need that GitHub Pages branch, uh, and we want that to be empty initially, right? Uh, so we can do uh, git checkout uh, orphan gh pages. Uh, and that will create an orphan branch. And so we can then remove everything inside of here uh, to give us a fresh uh, blank uh, Helm chart. Uh, as usual, be careful when you run a command like rm-rf because uh, it can be surprisingly destructive. Uh, so I do want to delete all five files in here. We also have a couple of uh, dot directories. So GitHub, we don't want GitHub Actions enabled in the GH pages. Uh, so we'll delete that. And then also I don't need the git ignore file, so I'll delete that. So that's given us a empty branch, and so I need to add that, commit that, and then we can kind of start pushing things up if we want to. Uh, and then what I like to do is provide an index.html. Normally you'd actually put some useful information here, but I'll just, for the sake of this, write something simple. All right, so we've pushed up a empty-ish GitHub Pages branch. Uh, we'll switch back to our master branch, which still uh, contains all of our bits. Next, we can have a look around this in our text editor. Now, you see we have this charts directory. That's where you're gonna put all of your Helm charts. Uh, and the uh, chart testing and chart releaser tool are pretty good at uh, detecting just which ones have changed uh, and testing and releasing just those. Uh, and that lets us have a mono repo of our Helm charts. So we have the example Helm charts they have there uh, and we can keep those. Uh, but I also have my own Helm chart that I want to publish. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that in. Uh, but I should actually push this up to master. So that's my master branch up there. That's my mystique branch, uh, and I will my copy command. Uh, so now I have my mystique uh, in there. Uh, so I can add that and commit it. So I now have my master branch and I have this new Mystique branch, uh, which I should be able to make a pull request for using this link right here. Before I actually make that pull request, I need to create that uh, secret I mentioned earlier. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. So under personal access tokens, uh, we need to create a new token. Uh, you would hit the generate new token there. Uh, but you can see I already have one right here. Uh, so what I need to do then is take a copy of the contents of the, the token and add that as a secret. For the secret itself, uh, under the repo, we can go to uh, 
settings and there should be a secrets option here I add a new secret uh, CR token and I paste in my value and hit the add secret button you can see we now have that to uh, that secret saved CR token next step is to make sure we have github pages enabled you can do that here in the settings option uh, if we scroll down we will find github pages uh, here you can see I have it enabled for GitHub Pages branch uh, and I have a custom domain in my root so you can see there's the URL to this Helm chart uh, and there's my index.html uh, results so it is publishing correctly so now we can go ahead and actually create that pull request and watch the tests happen So that pull request is created and we should see some tests start to run here we go we can see that some tests are now queued through the github actions we can click details and see where that's at uh, you can see it is starting to run uh, it should only take a few moments and we'll be able to look at the results you can see that it failed uh, and if we look down we can find the reason uh, new, no new line character at the end of file for the values file okay so this is showing us the lint uh, testing uh, doing what it's supposed to do so a pretty simple one it just wants a new line at the end of that right there So that's that fixed and pushed up. You can see we now have the second commit and you can have a new test running. You can see it ran through and it looks like it now is failing on doing the chart testing. So the lint was fine. It created a kind cluster okay, but it is failing to install. Uh, and when we have a look at why, it looks like we have a bad spec in our service. Uh, so let's flick back and fix that and it is missing a set of ports we can add those in like so we can save that and then we can go and commit the change So again, we should be able to go back to the, the Git repository uh, and you can see there's our new commits, uh, our new tests are running, we can click on that and we can watch the tests go through. Uh, so we've kind of shown you that uh, the tests are working, right? The lint worked, it picked up the, the bad uh, linting uh, and then the actual uh, test deploy failed because there was a problem with the chart itself. You can see now our tests are passing. So it ran the lint testing, it created our kube cluster uh, and then it ran the chart testing where it actually installed the chart so now that we know our new helm chart is working as expected we can go ahead and merge it in and that should create our actual helm repository through github pages let's go ahead and hit the merge pull request button And now here on the repo, you can see we have the latest commit and you can see a little icon next to that uh, showing us that it is now running the release chart. So we can click on that uh, and you can see it's running through. It's already done the first few steps and it's actually running chart releaser. So the way chart releaser works is it looks at the Helm charts, it creates a Helm chart package and it uploads that Helm chart package two uh, github releases uh, for that uh, github repo uh, and then it creates a index.yaml file pointing to those packages so that looks like it's already finished so if we come back to our base charts repo and if we switch across to github pages you'll see we now have index.yaml and then if we look under releases you can see we have four releases 
Uh, here is our new Helm chart, uh, and that's the existing Helm charts we're already in the repository. So if we look at the contents of the index.yaml, uh, we can look for our new chart. There's our new chart. Uh, and you can see it has a, a URL here to download it from the GitHub releases. So with that done, we should be able to switch back to our GitHub pages and run look at index.yaml. Uh, and you can see here is our index.yaml. So it has fully published to GitHub pages, which means I should now be able to add it as a Helm repository. So we're going to run Helm 3 repo add polsar and the URL of our Helm repository. Uh, then we run Helm 3 repo update. Uh, and then we'll be able to actually install our chart. So Helm 3 install uh, test uh, and polsar slash mystique. Uh, and so that has deployed the mystique chart from the Helm repository that we just created. And it gave us our results. And so we should be able to run this command right here. Uh, and so here is the service that we just created from the Helm chart. So that was reasonably straightforward. Uh, we've already done most of the work uh, in the Helm chart repository. I say we, but most of the work was actually done by Reinhardt and Scott. So I think that is really all I have to show you right now. Um, if you are interested in joining the Helm community or contributing to some of this work, or just utilizing this work, uh, you can find the Helm community on the Kubernetes Slack uh, under Helm and also charts channels.